Sarah, the, the latest news on Coney Gree, how is he? Is it all systems go for Christmas? Um, completely, yes. I'm happy to say this morning he was, he really, he, he filled me with joy. He felt wonderful. Um, in ten days ago he was still getting over the, the very sore foot which had sent him into a bit of a spin and then he'd moved differently and tweaked a muscle. But he's just really come right now, so, so hopefully it's all systems go. And so for those that don't know, how serious was his injury? The, well, it, it, it wasn't a serious structural injury in any way, but they're just when he got an abscess in his back foot, and that's like a, a, a bus abscess under your nails, so it's very painful. The fact that it was in his back foot and he's so long-legged totally confused him and he didn't know how to be... He thought he couldn't move. They're lame on a front leg, they can do it, but he couldn't work out how he could move without putting the leg down. So that was what got him into such a muddle. And then he tweaked a muscle behind. So it was, there was never any great fundamentally big problem, but it was obviously something that he, he needed to come get over. And various options for him at Christmas, the King George or the Lexus, what would need to happen for him to run in the William Hill King George? Well, what would need to happen is, that, I mean, I think it's, it would be the owner's preference to stay in England. I'd like to see the ground, um, because obviously, you know, it could get it does get fast at Kempton, in which case that would send me towards the Lexus. If all things were even, um, I'd say we'd probably stay in England. Um, but, but, you know, we probably won't hear from Willie Mullins what he's sending and what's staying in the Lexus, but it would be nice to know what we're taking on. And um, I'm sort of, oh, we've also got to come up with a supplement, which... Um, I'm rather hoping somebody will want to see him so much that they'll say that they'll help us pay. <laughs> and who do you rate as his biggest dangers of those likely to run in, in the King George? Um, well, I suppose one has got to respect what the handicapper says about Don Cossack. But, but him and Votor, I would say that the, the start of their career was geared at two and a half miles. And if they're going to get three miles, we're not going to make it easy for them because the point is that he goes such a pace that nobody gets any trip. Um, cue card the same a little bit. Um, I, don't, I don't know really. I fear anything that might be able to go our pace and quicken because his point is just he'd be able to go four miles that fast. Um, but we'll, and, and that is more likely to happen at three miles around Kempton than it is at Cheltenham. But that, yes, that, that is my fear, is that one of those top-class horses like Don Cossack or Votor didn't look very impressive the other day, but, you know, they have to be respected. And ground, do you think he has to have it soft these days? I don't think he has to have it soft. He wouldn't, uh, like I've said, he is fragile. He wouldn't be risked on anything that was in any way faster than good, even fast good ground. And I think round Kempton over three miles, you wouldn't want it good because it just makes it too easy for things to quicken by him. He's got to be able to make it a true, true test. So the softer the better, really. Some have said he's such a galloper that Kempton might not suit him, but he, he certainly laid those theories to rest last year in, in the Corto Star Novices chase. He certainly did, and, and, and I believe the people who know about times that he was he was faster than, than Silva Nakaconti in the first circuit and the second circuit he did on his own. So, um, and it, it, it actually, if you think about it, with Desert Orchid and things, it, it, it's been a track in a way that, that it doesn't isn't not suited to front runners and all being well run at Christmas and then would he have a prep run or would it be straight to the gold cup the the, the sort of gold option would be to be able to go to the Denman in between but it will totally depend how he is and and whether we think that he's mm -hmm. got the strength to be at his best for the gold cup if he goes for the Denman if everything went to plan it would be nice to get a prep run because he takes a lot of work but we just have to play it day by day with him, really. William Hill, the home of betting.